Jess. And I'm Ryan. And we are... The Iggy Bear... Obsessed with Doggy Bathroom. Cut. We are the Iggy parents. We are the dog parents of Adelaide and Phoebe. And today, we're talking about the doggy bathroom, which is our favorite household accessory. Dog for, product. Yeah. Item. We, yeah. <laughs> noun. And we're going to talk about the doggy bathroom, reviewing the product, and maybe answer some frequently asked questions about it. Yeah. So this video is part of our partnership that we have going with Doggy Bathroom for the month of October in support of their new Kickstarter for their Doggy Bathroom Mini. It's a new product they have that'll be launching at the beginning of next year. You can support it on Kickstarter right now, but we want to get the word out about Doggy Bathroom in general because you can go and get your own right now. Or if you have a dog that is under 10 pounds, then the Doggy Bathroom Mini might be perfect for you. So while this is a sponsored post, we are advocates for Doggy Bathroom in our everyday life. You can see everything that we have posted about our love for Doggy Bathroom on Instagram and TikTok. But for now, Jess, what is a Doggy Bathroom? A Doggy Bathroom is basically the best solution if you are training your dog to go potty indoors. A Doggy Bathroom is a dog litter box. But instead of like with cats where you use litter, we use pee pads. So Doggy Bathroom has their own disposable pee pads that you can use. They are biodegradable and they are coming out with a third generation that's gonna be even more absorbent. We happen to use washable pee pads and we just throw them into the laundry with a little bit of detergent and bleach and then they come out smelling fresh. Something we love about Doggy Bathroom is that they have the option for boys that like to pee with their leg up. They have vertical options for the pee pads that you can clip it to the sides. And for girls, we love to use the doggy bathroom base as kind of a second doggy bathroom. So there is the one with the walls, but then also it comes with a base that we sometimes like to pull apart and we use it for traveling. It's great for travel because the base is made from a rubber, so it's, it's not going to get damaged in normal use. <laughs> and it's flexible. Whereas the enclosure is a bit more sturdy and it's not as flexible as the base. Another great point about the doggy bathroom is that it is a universal size. So we got washable pee pads from somewhere other than doggy bathroom and they fit perfectly. So you don't have to feel that your pee pads you've already purchased don't fit in the doggy bathroom. It honestly is a really great size. We were able to find pee pads that were perfect for it. And instead of having pee pads on the floor, yuck, now they go in the base of the doggy bathroom. It's super easy to clean. And honestly, it looks super slick. When we originally brought our first dog, Adelaide, home, we just put out pee pads on the floor in the same way that our breeder had trained her to do. So we used paper pee pads to start, but Pretty soon we found out that if we left Adelaide in her pen with the paper pee pads, they became a chew toy. So that is when we got looking for other options. And the first thing that we found was washable pee pads. So these were a solution for us, mostly so that she wouldn't rip them up. And then kind of secondarily that they are more environmentally friendly and cheaper in the long run. So for us as well, when we put them on the floor, we used to have an X pen set up for the dogs and it was such a pain. Every time we needed to change the pee pad, we had to lift up the X pen and rearrange it. And honestly, when you have a young puppy, it is so stressful. You want to keep your eyes on them at all times, especially Italian greyhounds. And you would take your eyes off of her for a second and maybe she's having an accident on the other side of the room. So this honestly saves us time. Having the doggy bathroom, they know exactly where to go. The cleanup is super easy. We don't have to lift up the pen and change all these things. I just love it so much. I think we should take a peek at the doggy bathroom. Okay, so here are some clips of the doggy bathroom for you to be able to visualize better what we're talking about. So here is the enclosure. It, like we said, is a bit more sturdy than the base. We'll show you right here. The base also comes in several colors. You can get it in light gray, dark gray, navy, or pink like we have here. It's super easy to clean, easy to wipe after the dogs have used the pee pads. We like to use washable pee pads, but again, whether it's washable or it's paper, it's just super easy to clean. So the enclosure is 20 inches wide, 28 inches long, and then 16 inches high. 
If you get the doggy bathroom starter kit, it does come with these awesome mats. They are helpful so that if your dog is walking out of the bathroom and maybe there's a little drip here or there, it helps to catch those last second little moments. We also use one, we have a few of them, we use one with their food. <laughs> Not the same one though. No, different one. <laughs> <laughs> wash between the different uses. Yes. <laughs> the walls of the doggy bathroom I find are really helpful for the dogs to have privacy. I don't know about you, but for us, both of our Italian greyhounds really like to go potty in a private spot. So when they were little and they had accidents, we would find a surprise poop around the corner or a surprise pee somewhere you weren't expecting, but it's because they were trying to find a safe private spot. But with these high walls, even though our girls don't lift their legs, it still really helps them to feel like they have privacy and they will always choose to go into the doggy bathroom. So one of the questions we get frequently is, why use a doggy bathroom? Why not just walk your dog outside? The biggest thing for us is that Italian greyhounds are very skinny, they have very low body fat, they have very thin fur, which means it's not practical for them to go out in all weather conditions. Especially so, in Canada. That's what I was going to say, us here in Canada. And that means that it's really kind of a necessity for us to give them an option to go inside for days that's super cold or because they've got small bladders that they can use overnight as well. It's true, and when we were training our dogs when they were puppies, we also were living in an apartment, and there's always that fear that your dog is gonna be the one to have an accident in the hallway or the elevator, that you're trying so hard to train them to go outside that you scoop them up and race them down the stairs or race them to the elevator, and then, uh-oh, too late. Well, just imagine a world where you don't have to do that. <laughs> you can still take your dog out for walks, and that's a huge question that we get as well. Oh, since you got the doggy bathroom, do you just stop taking your dogs for walks? Absolutely not. There are so many benefits to walking your dog outside that have nothing to do with going potty. And, and if you have seen us on Instagram recently, <laughs> our dogs have really learned the W-A-L-K word because they love going outside. It's not that we never walk them. It's not that they don't enjoy it. It's that we need this as a secondary option. And for example, today I took the girls for a walk and Phoebe immediately went to the restroom outdoors. <laughs> saved it up. She saved it up. So it doesn't mean that just because you have the doggy bathroom available that your dog even prefers to go in there. Sometimes dogs only like to go number one in the doggy bathroom and save number two for outdoors. But if they do go number two indoors, we just use toilet paper and flush it down the toilet. Yeah. It's honestly so easy and it sounds silly, but... You pick it up anyway when you're outside, right? You might as well. Yeah. The other thing that we love about it is that it is really stylish and sleek. Honestly, it fits into our apartment. We just last month moved into a new apartment that's got these great white walls and it fits in perfectly with the aesthetic of this place. Basically everywhere we have lived with Adelaide, it's fit in really well. So Jess, can you explain more about how we use it when we travel? Yes. Okay. So when we travel, there's always this big question mark. Okay. Now you've trained your dogs to go to the bathroom indoors. What happens when you're in a hotel or you're in your parents' house and they're just going to make a carpet their doggy bathroom? I will say that our dogs were trained for pee pads from the very beginning. Our breeder trained them on paper pee pads. But again, when we brought them home, we converted them to washable pee pads, honestly, with no issues. Yeah, that was not any, I don't even remember the training being a thing at all. And the washable pee pads, I have also found that Adelaide especially is really good at telling the difference. And from a very young age, she was able to tell the difference between carpet and the pee pads. We would even just put the pee pad on the carpet sometimes and she'd still choose to go on the pee pad. So from the get-go, our girls were really strong at doing that. However, put them in a new environment, like when we're traveling, and one, they're probably a little bit stressed. Two, they don't even know where to go to the bathroom. There's no pee pads out yet. You just got in from the car. Maybe you're letting them out of the crate. Yes, maybe you walked them outside but they're just like kind of searching for where to go when they get indoors. Now, if you're in an unfamiliar space, 
They might just choose to go anywhere they like. And having the doggy bathroom base is just such an easy way for us to have something that's portable. We put either a paper pee pad if we're traveling not with laundry or washable pads if we're going somewhere like our parents' houses and we can use the laundry. We use either of those pads in just the base and because our girls don't lift their leg, it's perfect. They know exactly where to go. They'll honestly like beeline to the doggy bathroom base and it's simple as that. So having the doggy bathroom base with us when we travel is just so much simpler and cleaner than just a pee pad on carpet or a hardwood floor. We got one more question that we get asked all the time and it is, how did your dogs know how to use the doggy bathroom? Did you have to train them? Adelaide needed some training with some treats to entice her to go into the bathroom. We basically tried to make it a positive experience by giving her treats every time she would go in. It started with one foot in and then two feet in and then all the way in. And then we use an already soiled pee pad that she had used on the floor and we put it in the doggy bathroom to make sure that she knows that's the place to go, that it smells like the bathroom. With a little persistence in just a few days, she knew exactly where it was that she was supposed to go. When Phoebe came home, she had Adelaide as a great example and basically had no fear of the doggy bathroom. So you never know what you're gonna get with your dog, but we have a few videos up on our Instagram and TikTok giving tips on how to use a doggy bathroom, but we have confidence that every dog will be able to if you're motivated to help them get there. Just be patient, give it a really good try, lots of treats, lots of positive reinforcement, and also, if pee pads are not your dog's thing, I have heard of people using grass patches inside of doggy bathrooms, as well as even mulch. So if your dog's trained with a different method of potty training, I mean, go for it. Why not? We are so excited that Doggy Bathroom is coming out with this new Doggy Bathroom Mini that they have now already funded on their Kickstarter, but they're still going strong. There's still a few days left. So definitely check it out. And if you're looking for a smaller version, that's the Doggy Bathroom Mini. However, we love our Doggy Bathroom original and maybe we're gonna look into the Mini. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. Like this video and subscribe for more reviews from us and a look into our lives with our Italian Greyhounds. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Iggy Adelaide.